What's going on everybody? Gamer King Tario here. Happy Sunday and uh, we got some Guild Wars 2 gameplay for you guys. I pretty much spent the last 30 out of the last 35 hours playing Guild Wars 2 since the launch at 3 a.m. on Friday in the U.S. I've spent the vast majority of this time as a human necromancer and just pretty much doing the questing. I haven't done a lot of PvP. I'm going to make another video about PvP in a little bit. I thought it'd be a good idea to make a new character, kind of show off some of the beginnings of the game for those of you not too familiar with it, character creation and stuff like that. So I decided to go with the Norn Guardian, and these are, the Norn are a race of kind of like Viking-like people, you know, big beards, drinks a lot of ale, likes to hunt. So while we started this new character, I thought I'd talk about all the stuff that I really enjoyed about the game so far. Keep in mind that all this footage you're seeing is in the first three levels of the game. So in a normal MMO where you'd be grinding, killing boars, or something to that effect, all this stuff has happened in just the first three levels of the game. One of the first and most obvious differences from other MMOs is the combat. Here, it's a little quicker and a lot more dynamic. For instance, my necromancer generally uses a two-handed staff, which is ranged attacks and has traps as the skills. But if an enemy gets the jump on me and ends up in close quarters, I can instantly switch over to my daggers, which has a whole different set of skill sets. This can allow me to immobilize my enemy until I get range, and then I'm able to switch back to my staff and start pew-pewing. What you're watching here is called vistas, and essentially these are little points on the map that have great vantage points. Some of these are as simple as walking up and just hitting the F key. Other like this one, you have to actually work a little bit to get to. The best thing about these is you get rewarded for doing them. They're not just kind of, you know, little bonus extras. You get XP for actually finding the vistas. Not only that, each area has its own set number of waypoints, points of interest, quests, and vistas. And if you find all of them, you get a really nice XP bonus and a treasure chest. I really like that the game rewards you for everything you do, whether it's crafting, exploring, combat, quests, or PvP. To me, the best improvement over other MMOs is the questing, though. Instead of going to a new town and having a dozen new individual quests that you need to go, you know, you need to go collect 10 bear skins and then go disarm 10 bear traps, etc., etc. In Guild Wars 2, it's all wrapped into one. You know, they give you all of these up front, and you can do it however you want to. If you want to disarm a thousand bear traps to finish the quest, that's fine with that. Or if you want to mix and match, or if you just want to kill stuff, however you want to do it, you're able to pass the quest with ease. And while you're doing these quests, you're going to run into dynamic events, whether it's escorting a caravan to a certain location or fighting off a centaur raid. These are group events that you get XP from and help break up the monotony of just doing the random quests. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Guild Wars isn't perfect, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I haven't even touched on the crafting or PvP or even scratched the surface of the combat. That's it for the video, guys. If you guys want to see more of our Guardian, just let me know. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and let me know, and I'll keep making videos as long as you guys keep watching them. So that's it. Have a great week, and take care. Bye.